I remember Shane Harris, so I know his passion, his vision for national action work. On July 21st, 2017, I woke up early in the morning to do my morning walk as I always do. As I got four blocks away from my house, the police stopped me, arrested me for having a key, my car key, and a stick. And I went to jail on a $20,000 bail. And as I was in jail, my granddaughter contacted Reverend Shane Harris of NAN, and they got me out of jail later on that next morning, and that's when I met them, and I've been with them ever since, trying to do for justice. Uh, I saw him throughout the year, speaking at all different types of events for all different types of people, and uh, I decided to come and answer a call for volunteer work to come help uh, his, at his church for Christmas uh, breakfast for uh, people that maybe couldn't have Christmas at home and to bring toys. And now we're gonna welcome uh, Reverend Al Sharpton. And we're looking forward to that, to hearing him. Another civil rights icon. My name is Pastor Jared Moten. I am the pastor of Ebenezer Baptist Church and the vice president of the National Action Network San Diego chapter. Uh, over three years ago, I received a call from Reverend Shane Harris as he began this chapter to uh, work with the organization. First couple of years was not as involved. Over the last year and a half, I've become more involved uh, and it's been based on the types of cases that uh, we've been dealing with. I can see the difference that uh, National Action Network San Diego makes in the lives of those people whose voices have not been heard, cannot be heard. What we do here is a tremendous work uh, that will impact all in a very positive way. There's many words to be said about what we're doing here, but the best thing to do for me to tell you is to get involved. And picked up a sign this size and I told them I need a NAN sign and I took it out with me with a hundred tenants out in Oklahoma City and uh, we held a, a press conference. I called all the news stations. I was on my phone, get here, get here, get here. And uh, we held a news conference and a hundred tenants uh, went with me down to City Hall where we put in our code compliance complaints against the city for what has happened uh, with the slumlord not coming back to fix the property. And this is actually how I learned how to change policy. And uh, the mayor called me and he said, Rev, we don't want this. And it wasn't too much longer that they took the property from, in El Cajon City, from the slumlord and came back over and fixed the uh, whole apartment complex. It took six to eight months, but all those people had brand new apartments. But it was because I saw it fit that at that moment, at that time, that it was important to have a national action network. Our middle name is Action. And we were there to respond when the people needed us. And that was how NAN started. So from that day all the way to now, it has been the kind of leadership organization that has never been afraid to take direct action, but still be on the long-term legislative and policy angle of how to change situations so that see these situations don't continue to happen. And we have a long way to go, but I'm very excited about what we've been able to accomplish for people of color, people in our communities, people all over who have dealt with injustice can never say that NAN was not there. From uh, the cases we've stood for, from Robert Branch, a young man who was choked unconscious by a sheriff, and we were there from him for the very beginning, all the way to the end of his trial, when he won against the district attorney here in the county, uh, all the way to Olongo, and we were there directly at the top when this whole situation broke out in Oklahoma City and an African-American man that shouldn't have lost his life, lost his life. So we are very clear about what our goal is and what we are there to do. We're there to stand with these families and stand with people who have suffered injustice and raise their issue to the county level and make it clear that these people will not be swept under the carpet as if they don't matter. We're there to stand for people 
who they say don't matter, but they matter. And we're there to make, bring a voice to the voiceless. September 27th, 2016. My brother was murdered in front of my older sister. Fire! 2017. The Alfred Alano Foundation. Alpha Omega Self-Defense. First generation were founded. 2018. Together, we move forward.